This is Shaun of the Dead. It's a zombie movie parody. Are you alright? And a love letter to pop culture. We're going to walk you through every music, movie, TV show, and celebrity reference in Shaun of the Dead. First up, obviously, Shaun of the Dead rhymes with Dawn of the Dead. Edgar Wright was a huge fan of George Romero's Living Dead series. But that's not the first reference. That ominous track? That's pulled from the score of Dawn of the Dead. Okay, fast forward. So these Romero references are all over. You see Sean's zombie-like shadow here? That's a play on this climactic moment in Day of the Dead, where we see this zombie shadow. Fast forward. So these shots, which are now part of Edgar Wright's signature style, are called crash zooms. They're often used for something dramatic, like how Sam Raimi used them in Army of Darkness. Another horror movie staple is a mirror scare. It's framed exactly like this one from an American werewolf in London. You do know the front door was open again last night. Next, listen to the way Pete answers his phone. Dom, hi. Come on, it was pretty He does funny. it the exact same way in Spaced. Hi, Dom, yeah. Spaced is a surreal sitcom where Simon Pegg and Edgar Wright first collaborated. Oh, sorry, Sean. Okay, now we're getting into some deep cuts. Listen to this radio broadcast here that Sean is ignoring. So this is actually referencing Night of the Living Dead when a news broadcast says this. You're coming from a meeting regarding the explosion of the Venus probe, is that right? Uh, yes, yes, that was the uh, subject of the meeting. And then... Nelson. Freeze on these headlines. Up there on the right, that's actually a reference to this. What is this thing? It's supposed to destroy insects and parasites. It was sent by the Department of Agriculture. It's still experimental. It's an obscure 70s movie called Let right Sleeping Corpses Lie, where pesticides cause the zombie outbreak. Next up, the song Kerncraft 400 plays here. It's by an artist called Zombie Nation. You get it? This character Ash is uh, feeling a little bit. Um, is the name of the main character so in Evil Dead. Oh, Ash, please don't let them take me away again. Ash. Oh, Ash. The weather. So the teen I'll employees the chewing gum here? The, um, oldest it's another shout junior. out to space. If you think that I'm just going to stand by and let you beat up my friend well, you've got another thing coming. Oh, we're going to beat you up too. Because Edgar Wright said teens chewing gum look vaguely sinister. So if we can all just pull together. Right here. We see the store is called Forey Electric. Ken Forey was one of the main actors in Dawn of the Dead. Wake up, sucker. We're thieves and we're bad guys. That's exactly what we are. This one comes Fast over. forward to this. This is a shot-for-shot -shot match with this scene in Invasion of the Body Snatchers. Sir. Moving forward, the restaurant Sean forgot to get a reservation to, it's called Fulci's. That's named after Italian director Lucio Fulci, known for classic cult horror films. Come on! Next. Ed asks, Shall I do Clyde? Clyde is an orangutan from the 1978 comedy Every Which Way But Loose. See, I knew you'd get over it. This was actually Nick Frost's go-to party trick. This is an homage to the horror director John Carpenter's style of shooting in movies like Halloween. Fast forward... Okay, stop. The pizza shop? Bubs? That's named after the zombie in Day of the Dead. I call him Bub. That's what the club fellows used to call my father. And then... Now seriously, uh... The name tag of this zombie says Landis, as in John Landis. He's the director of Michael Jackson's thriller video and an American werewolf in London. Uh, Mary, I'm... I'm and then Sean and Ed go through a very nah, 80s so record collection. Whoa, 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 what was that? Um, I think it was Blue Monday. Had the original press out. Fuck's sake. Hmm. Purple Rain. No. Sign of the Time. Definitely not. The Batman soundtrack. Oh, it. Uh, oh, Stone Roses. Uh, no. Same coming. I like it. This joke here is about the Stone Roses second album, which Simon Pegg noted he truly did like, despite the album's lukewarm reception. Oh. Shade. 
That's Liz's. Yeah, but she did dump you. Oh. The most on-the-nose reference to a George a Romero time. movie okay, is right here. There. We're coming over. I don't want to cause a fuss. We're coming to get you, Barbara. They're coming to get you, Barbara. What's the plan? Here's a bit for the British audience. Listen to the way Ed says this word. Perfect. It's just like Pop Larkin in the British series, The Darling Buds of May. Perfect. Perfect. No, no, no. That's that and for here's a, a very 2000s gold. reference. Yeah, boy! That's a Flavor Flav impression. Yeah, boy! Yeah, I can see it, I can see it. It's just outside. This argument... Any zombies out there? Don't say that. ...about whether to call the undead zombies? It's a joke about the fact that most zombie movies avoid using that term entirely. In the Living Dead series, they're called ghouls. In 28 Days Later, they're called the infected. What? That? Then, a horror moment. This bathroom scene plays out similarly to the iconic oh, oh psycho shower scene. I'm gonna borrow your car, okay? Sean then tells Pete... Join us. ...which is what the evil force says in The Evil Dead. Join us. Moving ahead, Nick Frost gives us his best Matthew McConaughey. And then this shot, where Sean enters Cricket Bat first, is what Edgar Wright called Temple of Doom style. Fast forward. Liz calls Sean... All right, Flash, what do you have in mind? As in Flash Gordon, an 80s sci-fi character. Um, okay, I've got a moving forward... Here, ah, Ed asks Sean... Hey, you died in my G fucking King of the Zombies. Oh, the King oh, of Zombies oh. is actually a real zombie movie from 1941. Yeah, it's pretty good. Oh, that yellowhead zombie is tires from space. Oi, oi! You lucky people! Oh, oh hi, tires. Then, you see Lucy Davis there throwing darts? That's a nod to the dartboard in the office. Three points. What? Don't Immediately. <laughs> oh, the bar owner here thrown into the jukebox? It happens to the same actor over here in Brannigan. And then, uh, Sean shot, wears a red tie, just like Christopher Walken in The Deer do. Hunter. I think we should all do it. Who can find people up a red one gun? <laughs> right here, Sean quotes British philosopher at, Bertrand Russell. As Bertrand Russell once said, the only thing that will redeem mankind is cooperation. He counts as a celebrity, I right? I appreciate the relevance of that now. Okay, when Sean starts shooting zombies, that's a callback to an episode of Space where Simon Pegg's character plays too much uh, Resident Evil. Heads up. Oh, shit. <laughs> Hiya. Don't sneak up on me like that. That episode initially inspired Sean of the Dead. Okay, and then Barbara's zombie bite? It mirrors the mother's bite in the zombie comedy understand. Dead Alive. Oh, oh, oh. 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 Okay, uh, let's move forward. David holding the rifle mirrors Dustin that? Hoffman holding the rifle in Straw Dog. For Christ's sake. She's gonna come back. Two, three. Sean then says... Stop that gun in my mom! Just like Eddie in Reservoir Dogs. Oh, and real quick, Sean mentions the movie star who always played the hero. And then, in this wonderfully gory moment, David is torn to pieces. That matches Captain Rhodes' death in Day of the Dead. Then they flee to the basement. Just like in Night of the Living Dead and Evil Dead 2. And then they have to escape from the basement. This matches the elevator in Day of the Dead. Whew. Okay. And here's Coldplay. Okay, right here. Edgar Wright voices a newscaster who says... Which is the same outbreak in 28 Days Later. The animals are contagious. The infection is in their blood and saliva. Finally, we fade out to Queen's You're My Best Friend, which includes the lyric, Ooh, you make me live. and that's every reference in, oh, wait, the music at the end of the credits? That's the same music as in the mall in Dawn of the Dead. Oops. 
So that's every reference in Shaun of the Dead. We think. <laughs>